Welcome to another Tales from the Flip Side, episode 164. Got a lot of fun things to talk about tonight. You're listening to Tales from the Flip Side. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to another show, Tales from the Flip Side, episode 164. Uh, we've got uh, the one and only Mercenaut in the house. Carter's here to join us tonight. Uh, Yeezy Yi is in the house. Aaron Yi, Steve Horn, My Bargain Comics, John Z, of course, and the one and only CEO from Tales from the Flip Side, Dino. What's up, guys? All right, we've got a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we're going to start it off with co- a little bit of comic book news. It's not too comic book news heavy this week. Uh, we've got a f- big market report. We've got some fun pickups and uh, and then some fun stories. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about the comic news. Of course, uh, the big news today was the OB-1 casting, right? I mean, we got the list of all the OB-1 news. Um, they did uh, uh, the actors that have all, all been assigned to roles, all that ty- type of fun stuff. Did you guys see it? What did you guys think? I mean, good names, good, 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 good actors, good names. But I mean, it's Disney. You expect that. Yeah. As, as long as Ewan's there, you know, that that's what's important to me. I mean, I, I rewatched the, the, the pre, prequels recently and um, had a new appreciation for them. Uh, they were they, they were better with time, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing him back in that role. Yeah, well, here are the lists. Of course, uh, Hayden Christian is gonna be there again. Um, they've got. Uh, I like that uh, Ice Cube son was in it. Did you guys see that? No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Shea trying- Jackson Jr. Yeah, O'Shea Jackson Jr. Yep. I'm trying to find the images of the casting here real quick. One second. Let you guys go ahead and keep talking while I do that. I thought, it was, I thought it was a great cast, you know, well, you know, but I want to know who they're playing. Like, yeah, don't yeah. Have they listed out any characters at all? Besides the obvious. I bet they do not want to tell you. It would much. take the fun out of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, Hayden Christensen. Now, is this like, a fl- is, is this flashbacks or is he in the Vader suit? What's happening? I don't, I don't know. That. I've we all thought flashbacks at first, but I've heard things where it's they're talking about Vader looking for him. So I don't know if they're going to try and tell new stories where Vader's you know in that time period out looking for Obi Wan. I don't know, but definitely we're going to get flashbacks. Like we have to get flashbacks. I, I'm a Hayden Christensen fan. I know a lot of people can't stand <laughs> them. I thought set up to fail. Um, but uh, he just wasn't that great of an actor yet. But hopefully now he's older, his acting is good. I think he's a good uh, Anakin. So I'm, I'm I kind of excited about that. It was interesting to see um, uh, Joel Edgerton in this because I think he's a great actor, one of the best actors in Hollywood right now, in my opinion. Really, really good actor. So it'd be cool to see him. I don't know who Moses Ingram is. Uh, is anybody, do you know, guys know what she's from? No. She looks familiar. Yeah. Right? yeah, she does. Yeah, Rupert Friend. Don't know who that is. Uh, Kum- Kumail. Kumail. I don't. I've never said his name before. I just remember him from Silicon Valley. And Super right. Troopers. Yeah, and Super he's hilarious. Troopers. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to be in Eternals as well. Yeah, right. Yes. He's, yeah, he's like a bodybuilder now, and he used to be just like that's right. Like yeah, he's just a guy. Just a guy. Just uh, a guy like the rest hey, of us. Hey, if we got cast in a Marvel movie, we'd all probably be jacked. You know. Oh, dude, hundred percent. I go. I well, I do what I could. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm in a Marvel movie. I'm doing the HGH train. Uh, oh, 100% I am HGH. sure. Yeah, if you get in a Marvel movie, they got you a nutritionist. They got you a chef. They got you a body program. They got you a guy that puts you on the right stuff. Yeah, Chris Pratt uh, wasn't exactly just push-ups. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I really like that. Simone Kessel. I don't know who that is, but I was going to say the chick above her, the in, 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 in Daria Varma. She uh-huh. is awesome. She was in uh, Game of Thrones, right? She was the um, the the uh, prince's sister or whatever that had the the, the snakes, whatever they were called. Three yeah, snake yeah, yeah. daughters. She was, she was the, the baby. She was the baby mama. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the the. Oh. She and, was and, she was also the wife in Luther. With, and right uh, above her, Koba. right above her, Moses Ingram. She was in Queen's Gambit. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what it was. I just saw that not too long ago. That's probably why she looks familiar. And then hey. I, I, I was going on Reddit, and they were saying that the aunt and uncle are in this too from the old prequels, I guess. That's what they were saying. They were like, well, I guess Joel like, Edgerton, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna ask about. I forgot that. about that. Holy shit! I forgot about the that. Right. He's a Owen. Yes. Wow. That must have been one of his really early roles. I totally forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I love so people were geeked in, about our, that. in our hangout mentioned uh, they thought Simone Kessel might be uh, Dr. Afra. I, I wish I could give credit where credit's due, but I can't remember who mentioned it. Ooh. Hmm. Everybody Ooh. wants to be Dr. Afra, so you know. Well, I mean, do we do we talk about the other herring in the in the in the casting that they didn't really mention was uh the old Darth Maul keeping it maybe under wraps, you know, who knows what what happens there? I mean, but yeah, that, yeah, you could be right. You could be right. That would be freaking cool, man. I would love to see Dr. Afra as soon as possible. I think she's a great character and all of us comic fans are super stoked over. That's for sure. But what's Dr. Afra's timeline though? Is she, is she like contemporary? Who is she contemporary to? Is she contemporary to uh, With Vader? Right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and then well, she teams up with Luke in some of those comic series. There. Yeah, that's that's weird to me because because I, I, I really have no clue because I'm like because she yeah because she teamed with Luke Skywalker, and so, but okay, by the time that the Screaming Citadel, she'd be like kind of an old lady, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, Star Wars timeline is not my best suit, so yeah, it's my worst. So <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm, I'm I'm no help. I watch all the movies. Supposedly, it begins ten years after Revenge of the Sith. Okay, all right. I'd like to see Star Killer. Uh, like Star Killer as an actual person. Oh, like, no, yeah, that guy, that guy, the, the yeah, princess, Ma yeah, yeah, Malik Gallant mm -hmm. from the uh, Unforce. Oh, Nation. that'd be that'd be cold. Yeah, I mean that's just wishful thinking on my part. So. <laughs> so I've seen a couple of people in the chat uh, tonight. I want to thank everybody for joining us live. Much love to every each and every one of you. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that like button, and uh, hit that bell so you guys are notified when any content drops. Uh, we've got a lot of all-stars here from the channel. We've got uh, uh, the guys, a couple guys from the Modern uh, Playbook show and uh, who are doing really good things over there. Make sure you guys check out the Spec 10 every Tuesday morning and then the Roundtable every Thursday morning. Um, and uh, also make sure you guys check out Comic Book Women tomorrow night, Tuesday night. So uh, check them out. All right. Um, I'm also appearing on the Droid March Madness show as I, well. I absolutely forgot about that. I do yeah. want to talk about that. That for those of you guys that yeah that aren't watching Obi or Star Wars, this is perfect. Uh, uh, Sagu, that's right. I said Sagu for all for all of you um, uh, people out there that go crazy every time we say Sagu. That's an old school impressible callback, you guys. So uh, <laughs> Sagu. Um, now that we're talking about Obi Wan, perfect Sagu, and to talk about the Star Wars show, uh, you guys, Steve, you went over there and 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 joined in on their March Madness droid extravaganza and it's really really good as a matter of fact we put it up on our youtube page as you know the 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 video to show everybody because we think it's so much fun you guys need to it go watch so it so much fun it's i mean absolutely it is hilarious i mean what uh marco did is he took the top 20 droids that starwars.com posted and then put them in brackets and then each week we have a different droid uh that were assigned and we have to speak in defense of them um, as to why they should progress versus the other droid. And um, it, it is just a blast. You can see all the, the I don't even know what I'm doing on the show. Um, that's why I make a lot of stuff up. I do a lot of Star Wars fan fiction. I never knew, it's something I never knew I was good at. 
Um, but uh, I don't know. It's somehow um, it works. Yeah, and and but uh, yeah, but Solar Wookiees on there. We've got JJ Maxwell. Uh, we've got Peter. Um, well, speaking of Peter, no, I was about um, to say perfect timing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Why did you do that to me? But uh, yeah, you guys, you got to check it out. If 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 you like hearing, you know, if you like comedy, if you like. Uh, and there, there's some spec that drops there, there too. Um, I, I had Mr. Bones this past week, uh, which is a droid I wasn't familiar with. Um, but he kind of sort of has a comic book appearance, um, in the wrong hands. It could be very dangerous comic book speculation. So yeah. I encourage everyone to go check it out. Hell yeah. Much love over to, uh, all the, uh, Star Wars crew. Make sure you guys go check that out. They're doing really good stuff over there. So, all right. Uh, some other news. How many of you guys watched uh, Invincible? What'd you guys I, think? I did. Oh, it's great. Loved it. Yeah, I wish I would have read. I mean, I wish I was on a Z train and read the whole series because uh, my thing is, Z, have you watched it yet? Uh, I watched the first two. Okay, so <clears throat> I, my, my big thing we were all talking about it in Playbook is before the Playbook show. How many issues is it per episode for a comic issue? Do you think? Is it it's like one or two? It's it's not moving super fast. Okay. No, I thought it was great though. It was uh, unexpected. I won't tell too much craziness of it. It's really uh, it's really well produced. Um, I know Kirkman was on the uh, Reddit AMA. He was talking about uh, that and Walking Dead and a couple other things, and he's just super pumped. He did say that. He's got the show timeline that he could say that the 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 way he's planning out the TV series, it could go on for multiple, multiple seasons. Again, he didn't hint on how many, but I would think I mean I, I would think it could easily do five. Yeah, that's if what you I really wanted too. to. I mean it could do way more. I mean, there's hundred and fifty issues. If you do uh one to two issues a thing, I not everything's a direct translation either. I mean, they've they've taken some bits and pieces and mixed them up. Mm -hmm. and changed them so it's not like a direct read but the base story is pretty much there okay nice yeah, yeah. I, I read the whole series and i watched the first episode last night and i was i i came in with low expectations it it blew me away i was really impressed with the quality of animation the quality of storytelling um the the voice acting um you know the 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 adult uh, orientation. I mean, you know, you're you're hearing, you know, s bombs dropped and um, all that. Just um, very, yeah. compel very compelling. And the, I'm not and the the fight. The difference between the fight scenes. I only I only saw the first episode. So the difference between the fight scenes to start the show, reverse the, to end the show, like find, like really sets the tone. Because I'm like, oh, this could be this could be okay, but like I can only watch like so many minutes of like childhood style cartoon fights and then they then they flipped it on us and uh and then grew uh grew it up so yeah it's it's worth it's worth just it's worth it's worth keeping going for sure i was a little worried you know watching it that i read the book and i'm like i don't want to just see a, a full straight adaption so i i do enjoy they've changed it up i i think it's going to be a great watch i am just not sure on the you know the the what it's going to do for the book long term i know right now we're seeing some jumps and some spikes but I don't know if animation, adult-based animation, is going to like produce, you know, the long-standing um, value raise that people are expecting. Wait, wait. So you're saying that walking that it's not going to be Walking Dead number one? Are you are you proclaiming this right now? Well, it already is selling for that, but that's beside the point. It's a it's a rare book. Yeah, it's not true. it's not common. I just yeah yeah. I just don't know that it's going to be enough to keep it in the, you know, in the mainstream lexicon. You know. Yeah, the, that series uh, is completely <clears throat> impossible. Sometimes you get something like under forty, but like the first twenty, thirty issues of that, like I just, I've never, I've never bumped into them in in, in uh, no, California. The only, like the only one I've gotten was I, I bought a collection and had them, and I only got yeah. the first six, and I sold most of them. I've got number five sitting in grading right now, so we'll see if it gets here. Uh. <laughs> so. Well, um, real quick, I want to give a quick shout out. I saw uh, uh, old school homie, uh, not old school, Jesus Christ, a homie in chat that we haven't heard from in a while, we haven't seen in a while. Shout out 
the one and only Emiliano Beggs, oh, big yeah. time family member of Tales from the Flipside. For those of you guys that don't know, uh, he is uh, a big part of this show. He does a lot of our art for us and artwork. And I want to remind everybody to make sure you guys do him a favor. Go check out his Instagram. Damn it, Beggs. Yeah, go check out his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and uh he's got the worst got, specker in comics basically yeah he's got an instagram for his art it's uh e-m-i-o beg e-m-i-o-b-e-g so it's at e-m-i-o-b-e-g he's doing the nfts over there uh, i think he said he he sold his first piece of nft of original art so shout out to him congrats brother uh he's doing some really cool stuff uh if you guys um, ever uh, get a chance, hit him up. Really, really cool dude. And uh, big time, big time friend of the show. Maybe the so. CEO should show off the hat since... You know, I was about to say that. Uh, hey, matter man, of fact, hey, okay. listen, let's, listen, let's listen. see the hat. I'll put you up. This uh, is a shout out to Emiliano. Yeah, you um, get actually fresh, fresh. Jesus, man. I put <laughs> you on the screen. Fine. You got to show your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry about it. So, you got to get the full on coat on tonight. Right, I mean, fine, dude. Geez. So this is what we got. Uh, new hats. Um, I'm selling for a million dollars a piece so I can get rich. Uh, no, um, so what they are just little trucker mesh hats. I'm gonna fold them down so they actually be nice. But so what they did is Mr. Emiliano did uh did the logo for us. So it's a Monopoly Man kind of with uh, tails from the flip side, and he's got like actual collectibles up there and stuff. So it's really dope. Uh, I, I only made 25, so uh, I didn't know how how this venture was gonna go. So I did the Mel V thing and made like 25. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I mean, we're we're gonna sell them with collectible NFTs too. So yeah, yeah, you know, I gotta do my thing. Um, so what we're gonna do is I gotta give away a couple for the boys, and then what I'll do is I'll I'll give one out tonight. So we'll we'll pick something in the chat, and I'll give one out tonight too. Um, and I got an extra giveaway too that I'll do in pickups. I got a little monster box of goodness over here too. So we will open it up during pickups, and we'll give away some of that too. Not bad, so. not bad. Well, since uh, Z has to bail out a little early, uh, why don't we uh, do something different and uh, let's knock out the market report uh, first things. What do you think, Z? Love it. Let's All right. Let's get through this because this is a wild one. Like, I listen, every week it feels like I, there's so many books doing crazy things that I used to feel like I was giving a good broad spectrum. At this point, I'm just picking things that, caught my eye because there's so much going up every week and doing incredible numbers. So mm -hmm. I could focus on the same 10 books every week. So I'm trying to mix it up. So here we go. This one shocked the piss out of me. This is a book that, you know, near and dear to me. Oh boy. But I was, you know, this book had been dead. Um, you know, you could get a, a nine, four, nine, six for a few hundred bucks, maybe, maybe 400 for a nine, six. Um, the Raws would usually sell 150, 200 bucks. Even after the show, it, it pretty much lulled. And I just I saw this sale for a Raw for 600 at auction, and noticed that uh, a 98 had sold for like 1800. Another one in the the mid teens, and all the cheap ones were gone. So I don't know why. I mean, the show's dead as far as I know. I don't know if it's just catching a new wave of nostalgia from you know the, the miscellaneous collectors new to the market or what. Uh, because, like I said, this book has been crickets. So um, I think for me, I know my cousin, who is a longtime collector, uh, he was looking for one a couple months ago, like maybe three or four months ago. So it, it might be, I don't know, I hate this. I always hate the word. We always say stimulus money, but it could have been that. But, you know, like you said, it could be new people coming into the market saying, oh, I remember 90s tick, right? I mean, everybody. Uh, and it is a slightly younger show than than us i mean i enjoyed it but like technically i think in the nostalgia cycle is a few years behind like this uh the the masters universe and that kind of stuff so maybe it is just now hitting its peak i, I don't know it something to watch i guess um yeah crazy number for a raw book um another one you just don't see all the time this was dirt cheap in my opinion uh, yeah i was gonna say that doesn't seem high First pirate low. girl. No, somebody got a steal. Signed yeah. uh, nine eight. Uh, it's a rare book, cool book. Got a huge kind of fan base for it. Uh, this one just, you know, whoever got it, if it's one of you deviants, congratulations. Oh, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thank you so me. much. I appreciate. It. No, I'm joking. In all, all honesty, that's not. I don't find that too. Unless you had like a lot of eyes on on your auction or your big retailer or something. I don't know who bought or sold the thing, but uh, 
that front, that's not the smartest book to auction. No, 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 no. Well, well, the that, thing too is that, like, that, a, a 98 SS isn't going to pop up very often when it, it's like you forget you're you forget you're looking for it. You know? No, yeah. That's I've been looking for that book for years, and I honestly forgot to like look for it. At, it's it's been like maybe like two years, and I forgot already. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it, you you. So there's one of those books where like you just don't see it, so you give up. Mm-hmm. And it's not just this book. I mean, it's any Cursed Pirate Girl book. You just don't see them. I, I think I got one last year. I saw one. Yeah. And you also uh, just keep your eye out for the uh, ye old Yore of Lore, which is uh, predates this one. And then there's the, you know, there's the Ultra Royer, uh, what, the Comics Pro one? Yes, yeah, Comics Pro, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, Ashton or whatever. Some real valuable ones, but this to me was real cheap. I, I've seen, you know, raw sell for that much. Man. So. Yeah, Congrats. There's, yeah, there's a there's a couple of listings at 200 already, and that's just raw books. It's not even. I mean, yeah, for an extra 55 dollars. So. If I would have seen that, I would have got it. I, yep. I truthfully would have. It wasn't even on my watch list. I just kind of caught it. Um, I don't see this one pop up too often. It's always interesting to see a sale on this guy, bad boy. Um, for Dennis Barger, who did a nice impression of me the other night, I had a really nice one. I let it go, and Hall of, oh, uh, I hate this book with a passion. I really uh, do. Who, uh, one of the one of the guys from the group turned it into a nine eight when I did not think it had a chance. So, damn it, hmm. uh, Hall of Comics. That's right. Yeah, and that oh. did. Uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, uh, that was that was like that's another strange auction. You know what I mean? But the high start price and the one bidder. Yeah, well, that you know what I mean. You're just try- now. Yeah, you're just trying. Oh, what well, says bid? I don't know. No, but it could have been like a bid with the buy it now price. Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, right. yeah. But either either way, it's a strange starting price. <laughs> Agreed. I just don't see it. I always like that one. It's one that has no true reason to be as valuable as it is, but it just is. People love it. Great yeah. art. It's hard to find. Oh, truth. Um, it's the bubble. <laughs> In tribute to Mr. Longshore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was expensive before, though. It just was. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just an iconic piece of art there. Um, this next one, like, defies logic, because this book, in my mind, had been a $10 book for so long. Even a $5 book, you couldn't give it away at times, you know? And now a 9 8 pushing a thousand dollars that should be a green label because somebody painted over the uh newsstand box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i might have to get my grade it now at this point i mean i just i i don't know i i get that everybody's specking on these characters but is this one is this one that rare i don't think so no not at all no, uh, no that's, be- not, that's not that's not a flip to find I mean, yeah. let's, let's roll this in with X Men Four, right, boys? I mean, I mean, there's probably yeah, but X Men Four is you know a few hundred bucks. This is a thousand dollars, man. <clears throat> yeah, there was a uh, yeah. I mean, on, honestly, I uh, pulled these out. Of, it's not really happening anymore. But I, it, they they moved from the bin to the wall. But you know, I I I, I probably pulled twenty five of these at least. I probably at one point was just leaving them, oh, and yeah. that's after a lot of years of not even bothering to buy it. No, so. to buy it for ten to. You know, even if you get it a dollar, are you selling it for six? No, they weren't yeah. selling. Yeah. Um, so if you got copies, maybe it's time to look at them. Send them the big leg. Let them do some magic. Mm. Uh, Ghost Rider. I mean, Good Jesus Lord. Christ. This Woo! thing just, this one just skyrockets. Every time one's listed, it's higher and it sells. I mean, it is fast. Uh, I saw I saw a listing. Uh, if you guys are going to laugh. It said lot of seven or lot of six Marvel Spotlight dash or hyphen Ghost Rider hyphen uh, like Marvel or something uh, <laughs> had one pick I think with the five books all fanned out twenty four dollars buy it now with fifteen dollars shipping oh, into yeah. sell oh I'm sure so oh again man. no grade but whatever I remember I don't care if it I didn't have a cover it's probably worth that. Yep. I think I I broke a <coughs> uh, broke broke GPA record when I sold. I was so happy. I think I got eleven hundred for seven five. Oh yeah, now now you yeah yeah yeah. But I got I, a nine I, for I got a nine for eight hundred bucks. So 
I thank Nico every day because a couple years ago I was about to sell my maybe 18 months ago I was about to sell my 85 for I think 13 direct and he's like no don't do it and I didn't and thank God yeah um I, I mean th this one just everyone that gets listed is higher and sells. It do you sell today though? That's his question. Or do you, or you just hold? Are you, I mean, I know Legs holding because that's his favorite I, character. But do you, I, do you I, hold? I don't know. It keeps going up. I'm just gonna sit on it, man. I've I've sold enough Marvel keys that I'm done for a while. I'm just yeah, I, I have no reason to in coming in the future of my life, hopefully to <laughs> to list it for sale for a while. I just gotta. I've been so happy to have it for so for so long, and it also made it made it easier to sell every lower grade copy that I had. Because I'm, I'm, I probably had six or eight of them or something. What's like your, what's your nice one? I know. Oh yeah, shit, man, that's a, that's gonna push five figures soon. Yeah, he did. He did friends and fam for eight hundred. Very nice. But that you know, new, that, was a, that was a few years ago. Hey, that new mutants ninety. That no, that new mutants annual. That's a. That feels like a fluke. This one doesn't. No, no. That well, the yeah. new mutants. There was another. It's it's been selling high. I don't get it. I really I, don't. New. Listen, this is this book is serious. To find it in high grades tough. I mean, less tough than it used to be, but mm -hmm. you get an eight hour above. It's do you tough. think that do you think that New Mutants annual is selling because of the uh Peach Momoko series? No. Man, uh, maybe no, everything everything X Men is high. <laughs> it's a different uh Psylocke anyways. I know, yeah, but yeah, still yeah. like are people are people seeing that series and they're going, Oh yeah, I want I want to go find Psylocke's first appearance and that's huh? why we're seeing no. them all of a sudden. Go get Captain Britain number eight. <laughs> I, 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 have one have, nine, I think there's a, a better likelihood that people are thinking about the X Men coming to the MCU. Yeah, I mean we've talked about it. Bishop's hot, uh Omega Red, all of them. Um it just i mean, I know Psylocke's a big character, but man, I, her her books are so screwed up and the number and the appearances and this version and that version and this, you know none of them are fantastic covers I, you know it's just a weird book that's not the one I'd be putting my money on I mean I get it's a type 5 list but again he's got such a a convoluted first appearance line so it's not it's just not what I would put my money in now, if I found one cheap and could send it to leg and get a nine eight, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's a book I'm buying raw. Not, all right. I'm not, I'm not swinging nine eight on it. Some of the berserkers are coming back with the SS. Yeah, wow, that was fast. So, what were they pre-selling at? Right around a grand, two yeah. grand. One, yeah, one to two, and then you had to take a bunch of other crap books you didn't want to get it because they didn't yeah. have room to store them. I saw somebody was selling his for thirty five. So that was, I mean. I mean that's not a bad play. I mean you double your money on a quick one, and I, who knows? Who knows on that book? I mean, is he going to sign anymore? Yeah, and like you can have your you have your friends over, and like even though I pay attention to comics, they're all going to think it's cool. You got some autograph by Keanu. Oh yeah. <laughs> so nobody hates I, that guy. I, 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 I forget how this worked. Did, did this this didn't come pre-signed, right? Yeah, pre-signed, and then they and then CGC was get. Uh, let any store that wanted have the option of sending it in to get slabbed without the and still getting the yellow signature. Yeah. Because apparently they were all I don't know, they figured it out. There was oh. some, yeah. Cool. I thought <laughs> I so. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, that one was one I'm like it doesn't feel like a risky buy in. I just don't have the money to throw at it. Yeah. I mean cool look. I mean, how, how rare is Keanu's signature? I mean, after this, obviously not, but I mean, how many, you know, like... Well, I mean, I don't think he signs stuff. He doesn't go to cons. Yeah, that dude, he does. He definitely doesn't need the, the fanfare yeah. Yeah. to sit through a convention. Even like 500 a pop, he's probably like, nah, dude, I'm good. But do you think <laughs> you think he does SDCC if he gets a Marvel movie? I mean, you didn't get... I mean, like, when he, I, if they probably have... If he have if he had, like, some, some mega Marvel... And they had the Hall H panel or something. I can yeah. see him show up to that, but I I can see him sign an autograph. No, he doesn't gonna do it. Like he's just not a person that likes publicity like that. He isn't gonna want to sit there and glad hand. So I mean, what, what do we think? There are five hundred ish of these, maybe less. I don't know. No, I I don't know. I was thinking probably over over a thousand. Was there? Well, there's a one in the hundred. No, it's a one in a thousand <clears throat> or one in a thousand. And it was a, what six hundred thousand. Was the guesstimated print run of this bad boy? They probably made it. He probably signed a thousand of them. 
I don't like, know. Yeah, I, I want to say that it's coming in in the Comics Pro um, attendee pack, but I could have sworn I heard something like that. But maybe, maybe, maybe it was like the one in five hundred rather than the one in thousand. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, green, blue green says it's six hundred k. So to me, it feels like there's five six hundred of these bad boys. And Keanu Reeves does actually sign quite a quite a few sh stuff, man. There's a lot of his autographs right. out there, but That's they cool. look it looks totally different than that autograph. I'll tell Wait, you that but right they now. Like, they're not like he doesn't do sit there and do like con signings. Well, look how different the autograph is. Here, pull that down real quick. I'll have you put it back up in a second. Look at this. So let's look at some of these autographs. Yeah, just the standard Keanu on them. Yeah, it, like it doesn't look like that same autograph, which is crazy. Well, you know, we, we talked about it. Um, I guess somebody who was a major league pitcher talked about how when you sign cards and stuff, we always bitch about uh, sports athletes just making lines and stuff. When you're doing a thousand books at a time, dude, you're just trying yes, to rip through as much point. as you can. Yeah, you know. That's what I'm the, that's I think it's. I think it's almost different with one that that's up. Go ahead and put it back up, John. That one is he took his time to actually write his yeah, autograph so on this too, one. Man. Yeah. For, yeah. For yeah, that's that's the difference between like uh my driver's license or like me signing the ATM slip and getting this full pack. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. One's yeah, like, I mean, oh, someone else is gonna see this. Yeah, this is this he did nice. I mean that's a that's a great display, looks good, so can't complain. I, I don't love the super high ratio, but damn it, I, that's a cool looking book. I wish you would have signed it in a different color. Yeah, are they all signed in the same spot? I assume so. Gold would be great. Yeah, gold would have been dope. I don't know. Still I like red. how it is, man. Silver's always better. All right. Um, this is another weird one I just happened to see. 9-8 uh, of the old uh, Valiant Super Mario Brothers Special Edition. I don't actually recall seeing this particular one before. Um, I've never seen it. Never. Uh uh, those va those valiants are rare. Yeah, they're tough. I mean, we always see the preview one cell. I see some of the number one cell. I don't know that I've seen this cover before. So, something to watch out for. I'm sure oh. Raws sell very well. I'm sure. I'm. I'm. I'm it's funny that Probstein actually. Uh, Probstein actually sold it. It was funny. Yeah, I thought you'd pick that out. Um, another. One from the back issues that you guys should be looking for, I guess. Uh, Mortal Kombat Midway Comics. Jesus. Sell that yeah. now, man. Yeah. yeah. That was the time. The time is now. Get digging. I have an old Bruce Lee comic from, I think, that, that they're in. Is that an early appearance? If anybody in the chat knows that, let us know. I have some ridiculous Mortal Kombat book on eBay for like 400 bucks right now. Nice. And I keep getting and it's beat to hell. And I don't is even it the Mortal I Kombat it. two one from the video game? Uh no, it's I don't know. It's a, yeah. I don't know a lot about it. You can't find a lot. I just asked for a lot of money. I keep getting I keep getting um like uh like like two hundred and fifty dollar uh offers and stuff. But I'm, and I'm just and I'm like uh I just keep asking back for three something. Maybe we'll have. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, That's one that has a limited shelf life in my mind. Yeah, a lot of those books are hitting high prices, though. I mean, so yeah. if you have the books, now's the time to dump them. Like everyone I, says. I got a whole run of Mortal Kombat cards. Like, <laughs> is that worth something? Probably not. Just say, add PSAM to the listing. It'll rookie be cards. They're rookie cards. Yes, PSAM <laughs> rookie cards. Yeah, Mortal uh, Kombat 4 Limited Edition, uh, the Midway Comics, oh, 1998. Nice. For that series. I don't know where I got it, man. Apparently people want it. <laughs> um. So, I, I don't know, just price checking this guy. Um, though Doc Joe sent me randomly, and I couldn't find the image that, like, a newsstand sold for 4K, but the, the traditional's down to 1K a bit. So, huge discrepancy in those. 4K for yes. a newsstand? Oh, my yes. God. That's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous. So, I, huge spread in newsstands, picking up a lot of uh, traction everywhere. We've talked about them the past couple weeks. Um, this one shock the piss out of me i mean it's a cool cover but oh nico's I, I'm aware be yeah, it's got a mcfarlane <laughs> and a st uh stan sig but I, I i made offers i i'm not sure if it's the same one and i don't remember if it's new stand but there was a 13 double signed on ebay forever for like i think i kept trying to get it down to like for like 200 bucks every once in a while and just yeah. kept getting denied and uh still don't own it so 
I mean, this book, I, I don't know what, what's a McFarlane and a stat and sig add in, you know, maybe 500. Uh, I would, no, I would probably say 750. Probably it's like 500 for Stanley all day. And then I don't know, a couple hundred maybe for McFarlane. Yeah. yeah and, and, and also when he actually spells Todd. Yeah. It's like, seriously a thing <laughs> when you get the Todd instead of the team McFarlane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always get in line early for Todd because then his signature works. is like super nice. Yeah, it's like both. super cool and drawn yeah, out. You know? Yeah, so I, I, cool. That particular book is a cool piece, but <laughs> man, James it, said the same thing, Sean. Huh? Pricey. I don't know that that's the book I want to, you know, break 2K on, but if you got money to burn, why not? Yeah. Um, Zatanna. Oh, I, this, man, I sold. What, nice. when, whenever I parlayed my 8.5s into the 9.6, I was selling 8.5s for less than this. We held on to ours forever, right, Sean? Forever. And, and then cut it. I have one raw left. Yeah. I think it was only two years ago that you could get an 8.5 for 11, 1200 bucks, maybe 13 on a bad day. Yeah, totally. Um, and, and so I haven't, I've been watching. I haven't seen much high grade hit. Um, a 9 0 was up for a fast minute and was pulled down. So I assume a private sale happened. Um, another book that was up for a hot minute this week was a Crow 198. I haven't seen a 9 8 hit the market anywhere since last April. Um, and it was pulled down quickly. It's had a like eight thousand or best offer, so I would have loved to see what that one hit. But a lot of a lot of books getting listed and pulled, especially on that top end tier. Um, just a Harley price check, three hundred dollar or three thousand dollar book, not a newsstand. So wow. continuing to yeah. eke up the ladder there. Uh, this one, this one's gonna make you guys piss your pants. Oh, good lord, dude. It, Whoa. <laughs> that's yeah, crazy. Right? It was it was under a grand for a minute and, you know, it went back up to 3. We're all like, okay, it was it was 3 when the movie hype was up. But 7? Mm. What was, what was it at um what was it at uh like 3 4 years ago when it, it when was, it went it nuclear again and uh, Force bucks. Awakens? No, nine eight was, was no. When it was peaked out before, it was in two or three thousand, three to maybe a tad over three. Okay, so yeah. I mean it. It is, it, it is going fast and heavy because I even looked at. I told mentioned I looked at a, at a thirty five center in the last twelve. Hell, even it maybe the last eight months, and it was a reasonable price. And this is crazy. I might sell my nine six now. Yeah. <laughs> It might be worth it, man. This is a book that I, I gotta think is gonna be a cycle again. It can't sustain this price in my mind. There's a lot of them, even in nine eight. I, I know, I know. We talk about the sports card guys coming in and going, but I, Star Wars is such a book that seems to go ebb and flow. You know. I talked about this book a couple of videos ago, a couple of um, haul videos ago, and at the I came across a really high grade copy at around it was like the end of 2020 and it was like a hundred and thirty dollars right and yeah. i was just kind of looking and seeing it really wasn't going for that much it was oh. like maybe selling for like 150 for, from what i saw yeah you know so i kind of passed it off to a friend of mine and then like a few weeks later like maybe a month later the book just blew up it, at least from where I'm, at least no, from where it, it is, it is you just know? taken off. Like, I remember just thinking, well, all this other Star Wars stuff is going crazy. People are going yeah. over the modern stuff, the dark horse stuff. And, and this one's a little low. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll make a move. And I, you know, I got distracted by something else flashy and, and didn't. And all of a sudden you look back and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh. I've only seen like a 35 center, like once in, in person, like just shopping at LCS. And it was a graded copy, like at a 6.5. I want to say it was like 6K. That's about right. You're, you're yeah. paying about a grand a point. Yeah, I never thought anyone took this book seriously. You know what I mean? It, it, it didn't feel like... It felt like you had to wait to get to the Dark Horse stuff before you took Star Wars seriously. And this was just felt like a novelty. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, because it's everywhere in, in yeah. our minds. Maybe it's not anymore. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's just not. I don't know. I just it that one of all the books this week, that one blew my mind the most. Um uh, this is Nico just threw me this one. Just cool skull cover, rare book. Does not come up very often. Sorry I didn't get a chance to do the census on it, but you know, double skull, can't beat it. Uh, this is another nefarious book on the list. <laughs> Only a nine four, two K. I think <laughs> I like I don't know if there's a more kind of contested what the heck book than this one. So and notice nobody says a damn thing. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, hey, I came across a number ninety four with uh with the with the Georgievec art in in the interior. So uh is that fifteen K then? Uh yeah. Yeah <laughs> at a nine four, absolutely. Okay. But yeah, man. This is just this is one of those that uh I you always hope to come across in like the dollar bin or something like that, but yeah, not yeah. yet. Not yet. Yeah, it'll be in those in those like non bagged and boarded dollar bins where everybody's yeah. been too lazy to go through them and get their hands dirty for a long time. Yeah. And just all of a sudden yeah. you're like, Oh shit, it's all scraped up front and back. Like, I tell right. you what, if you go like this and you start sneezing, <laughs> you <laughs> <have> good boxes. <laughs> uh, all right. Um just, I think this is the first one graded the nine nine. I mean, we all knew they had real nice um, stock cover, so we expected a lot of high grade copies of this. I, you know, and most of the ones we've seen so far have been nine nines. Yeah, some nine <laughs> so nine nine, nine eight. So, um, it, it's a little bit of the Batman damned scenario where it's just such a nice uh, wait for uh, wait for book. a ten to roll out. Uh, I mean, I, again, who knows on this book? I just. I don't. I don't have two K to drop on a nine nine like that. Is a nine eight the equivalent of a nine six? When yeah, maybe. <laughs> if, if you get enough nine nines, yes. And I mean, look. I mean, try and sell Batman. Damn nine eight. Why well, would you buy it? Lenticular, all the lenticular covers. Yeah. They don't count, but. So, uh, this one hurts a bit. Uh, had had this book for a hot minute. Didn't you roll no, into the gym eighty three though, or didn't you? Didn't you? Turn no, I sold in? the gym eighty three the same day. Then I, oh. I got this in that deal. Yeah, and then at right. the end of the day, a dealer was walking around. I'm like, <laughs> "What do you think? What do you think? Do you know? Do I take this money?" And you go, "Yeah, put it in your pocket." Yep, <laughs> it's a good sale at the time, but man, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to think. I mean, this was what do you think, Z? Four that was probably years, four years ago. Four yeah. or five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> it's one of those, man. Well, yeah, you, we could have found a bunch of copies too. If I mean, if you looked hard enough, there. I mean, yeah, it, it's not. It's a nice book. It's yeah. still. It's. It's not quite Ghost Rider Nuclear, but it's right next to it. And I, and I actually think probably we start seeing some stuff come out about this show. It might. It might go even worse. I, yeah, it should. I, I have it high expectations for this show now. Yeah, and that whole series is is low. I, I don't know the sense, but that whole series is low and low and high grade, yeah. and especially those later. Some of those later issues, but I mean, pretty much all of them. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've never even I'm just, I've never owned this book. Really? Mm -mm. That's a shocker. I know. <laughs> uh, this is one you brought up, I think, last week, two weeks ago, because we were talking about books just going up. Um, the Web of Spider Man one hundred seventy five for nine eight. I remember that was a forty fifty dollar nine eight forever. Oh yeah. And you could buy it with cost of grading, basically, and shipping, and you had it. There was just no incentive to get it. Um, so there's that. I mean, I, I think the low-hanging fruit is just everything's going up and you want something cool that's going to cost you some money now. Yeah, and i kind of been looking around for those. And ju it just like the other stuff you're seeing, you're not the, – the, ratio, the ratio is a lot lower for the newsstands. It has to be just because yeah. I've been paying – I've actually been paying attention to sales. Huh. So – it's newsstands, an interesting play. So here's one. <laughs> this uh, hurts me more and more every day because I gave my nine in away to Koi <laughs> I, for three hundred bucks. You guys, you guys remember that back in the day? Like, yeah, Koi yeah. didn't get one. Koi was complaining all the time. He couldn't find one. Your boy Dino got one, pressed it nine eight, and gave it away. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I, had, I, I had two nine eights. I had zero. 
Yeah, I just but look at the these these sales happen within a day. Mm -hmm. I mean, a CBCS and a CGC almost double the price. I mean, one was an auction, was a buy it now. So I, I assume maybe somebody bought buy it now, and then everybody's like, "Shit, that's it." They went for <laughs> auction, but man. well, like like back in the day, right? We have a CBCS nine eight. Same name was Z. You could automatically flip that into nine eight. What do you think about now with the way grading goes? You think you crack that thing open and send it over? Or? I mean, I, I honestly, I would, um, I would, I would try to inspect it really beyond super well. I'd have to be completely, completely convinced. And then other thing you got to realize, um, I forget, I forget the exact with the back, the back cover, this is white or not, but if this is one of the darker back covers or even those front colors covers, I mean, honestly, even just sh shipping it around mm -hmm. in a slab around the country multiple times, like it, 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 it's going to move, you know, micro compared to what it would do maybe in a bag and board uh, should move off. You do it. But like and, yeah. and those now that those covers are almost, um, you know, seven, eight, ten years old for that. When that Marvel now shitty paper came out or whenever whenever they switched it, like the years and years aren't, aren't being kind to those books. So the paper's fucking cheap. So I, I'm starting to see why those why the nine eight keys are actually worth the premium on them. And they're not they're not coming back as, as well as my as, as nine eights. And they're just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They don't press as easily as when they're new. You got to be way, way more careful because that's just shitty ass paper. Uh, I don't usually go off of other auctions, but this was one I was, had been watching and knew was coming up, and I, I threw a bid in just shits and giggles because I didn't think I could afford it, but I did throw one in. Um, small auction house in New England area had this bad boy, a nine eight SS Todd error variant. Ending bid ten k. Oh, that's the error. Okay, I saw. Wow. All right. There's three of them in nine eight. Two are SS. I assuming the one that didn't get flipped into an SS. There's three of them. And I saw. Uh, I, yeah, I saw one of them that when it was the only nine eight, and it was and it was not as nice as yours. What was yours? Nine six. Yeah. John? Yeah. Yeah. Nine, it was not as nice as yours. There's like four color breaks on one of them. But I, it got whatever that SS bump it got out of it to the nine eight, and I was just all, oh, this sucks. I was like, he got hosed because yours was way nicer. Yeah, well, TJ's got it now, so. Well, there you uh -huh. go. TJ's got it. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I, it. That's a, that, I actually I put in seven k on the damn thing, just thinking why not. But yeah, Whew. that's nuts. Um, I honestly, I think if it were on heritage or something else, it would have went significantly more like this, is just a small auction house with a comic auction. Um, there were some keys going at a slight discount. So I, I think this, if somebody really put it on and hit the big market, it would go huge. Um, some silver age goodness going nuclear. Ooh. Dino just said, Hey, you want to buy a five, five? I know a guy's 18 K and I'm like, no, I'd, I'd like to not sell hey. you know, a kidney. Hey, man, I know people. No, it was funny. I, I don't even know it would be 18K. I bet you, I don't know. I mean. If, Anytime if we're talking over 15, is a lot of money. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I, I just don't know if 5.5 five is justified at 18K with a 3.5 at 8. I mean, that's 4, 4, 4.5, four 5, eh, maybe. I'd probably be closer. I hate to say it. Like, I mean, this is all theoretical. I'd be probably closer willing to do 15. Yeah, I mean, um, a handful more here. Um, X Men '94 continues to climb. Nico's gonna be happy about that one. Yeah, he bought a real nice one that he yep. did very well on. Yep. Yeah, I saw it taken off two years ago, and and I think that was about when I'm actually gonna try to look up to see when I bought it. I remember but, you yeah. talking about it. Yeah, as, I was just oh, uh, it's going up. I got a um. I really need that. <laughs> oh, you remember that, Sean? I, I used to see those uh, all the time on every wall, man. Everybody had X Men '94, and it was like eight and a half. You know, it was like for like three hundred bucks back in the day. And I'm like, no, no, no. You know, four, five hundred, nine. Just yeah. real talk. I don't get this book. This is my hot take. I don't like this book. It ain't got no first appearances in it. <laughs> it's just a. It's, it ain't no giant size X Men number one. It ain't even a '96. No, thank you. No. Is it cover, but is the cover art fire though? You like cover art? It, it no. ain't even got Wolverine on the bitch. No. <laughs> fuck fuck X Men '94. <laughs> People will buy it. It's not one I love. Um, 
That's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's like the start of the third one because I got to get out of here. But uh, you know, oh, Division yeah. Heat, this bad boy's still going real well. Yeah, I'll take um, over Z. Invincible did break two K on a nine eight. Oh, look who's showing up! Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, and then, uh, <laughs> look at how happy he is! <laughs> oh, you made it back! All right. Um, I, again, Hulk Nuclear Nine O. Holy shit! Yep. Is well, that, that because one, it's the old label? I I think it would would go that high anyways, but somebody's probably taking a gamble on it. Mm. Yeah, but it, I mean that. That's the that is the that is the old label. These this is the only label. Everybody's trying to pretend like the the yeah, last series of of labels like aren't like pressing wasn't available like eight years ago or something like that. But yeah. these ones are there's legitimately a decent chance if you if you especially if you know where they come from whether or not that book was actually fixed up. So okay. that definitely that label definitely contributed to that price most likely. Um, and then this is just a, a rare Baker book that uh, Nico saw. Hmm. It's crazy how he has it all tied up to a horse. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, I will let uh, Brian take over. I'll, I'll get a bounce, but uh, I'll catch you all uh, later. Bye, man. All right. Nice to meet you, buddy. All right. all right, here are some uh, – we'll go through these quickly, some crazy uh, things that I noticed. Uh, this is a gorgeous, absolutely stellar, beautiful, amazing Zion Williamson purple ice rookie. At a 150, sold for 6,500. Look how gorgeous that card is. Can I ask I, a question from a, a, a non-card person's sure. standpoint? I feel like every week you show a different Zion Williams rare card that's like five, six thousand dollars. Now, do I just not pay enough attention? Are you showing the same damn cards, or are there like none of these are ever the same? So yeah. there's, are there like a half a dozen different? Zion okay. Williams cards that are like five, six thousand yeah, dollars. They're, so they're, they're, they're like they're variants. Yeah, they're, they're, like yeah, variants. they're variants. Yeah. yeah. This this is a variant. There was only 149 made, and it's got that purple so shine it's to purple it. Crack it yeah, crack it's the same. Yeah, it's the same pose, but different colors. I guess yeah. it'd be like a, it'd be like the same cover, but like sketch and you know stuff like yeah. that. Um, this is interesting. A PSA 6 87 cool. Fleer Jordan sold for $405. A 6? Yeah. That's crazy. That's like, uh, Jesus Dude, Christ. That's I like, my legit, you can legitimately get 6s in your garage still that you didn't think yes. of, you know? I got yes. my Jordans in a stack just chilling, dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Is that like my Facebook Jordan lot? Yeah. No, it's uh, a lot better. So oh. here is uh, my favorite Chipper Jones card ever. This is the 1991 Tops Desert Shield Chipper Jones rookie. Now, nice. a lot of people don't know about this set. In 1991, we were in the uh, you know Desert Storm conflict, and Tops sent over specifically made for the troops uh, baseball card packs to open while they're over oh, there and every oh, single no. one of them had that foil stamped palm tree shield on there super rare how many well, of those people i think do you i think had those when i was a little kid super 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 rare um you can't tell the difference from a regular pack or a regular box that's why it's so hard to find unopened and how many of them do you think even brought them back yet alone unopened this right. one breaks this well, one breaks there it's like well, the uh, mark the jewelers too, it's like the Mark Jewelers of uh, baseball cards. You're exactly right. Well, you got exactly. You right. got to think about this. I hate to say it, like the sand and the elements too. Like you know, oh. it's like yeah. you think you think they had. I mean, sleeves over there and stuff like that. No, you know, like, no, no. No. Look how beautiful uh, that card is to be for being raw. Um, yeah, four hundred and fifteen bucks. Really cool. This is a uh, shout out to Jesse James. Uh, this is the 1966 Batman playing cards. Batman number one, a PSA 10 sold for $3,200. Pretty freaking crazy that the thing's in a PSA 10, but pretty cool. Uh, Michael Jordan, 1992 beam team card. Great card. When it first yeah. came out, everybody were looking for the beam teams. They were one per box. Um, and uh, this is a Jordan, and it's going for six hundred thirty-five dollars raw. Crazy. Uh, Wander Franco. This is the eighteen-year-old kid. He might be nineteen now, but I think he's. I don't think so. Maybe I think he's still eighteen. 
uh, that we were all going crazy for when we first started getting into cards here on the show. Uh, here is his speckled auto rookie sold for forty five hundred dollars in a PSA nine or I mean a, a Beckett grading nine point five. This is a gorgeous 1997-98 uh, Fleer Metal Precious Gems Kobe. Um, they, these uh, cards are super hard to get. They were really overlooked when they came out. Not very many people cared much about it, but uh, the Jordan in these cards sell for a ridiculous amount. And as you can see, here's a Kobe rookie that's over 20000 One bit, I get it. It could be you know weird, but these cards are that rare. So... And very, very, that's why it's not graded because they're very, very uh, condition sensitive. Uh, this is an unopened pack of 7980 OPG hockey. Uh, trying for a Gretzky rookie, an unopened pack, which can easily be, um, what's the word, searched and then put back together. There's people that know how to do it. So you got to be careful when you're buying not graded. You, you want to buy it graded or, or, or at least made sure that they made sure it was authentic. But this sold for 3,900 Canadian. Um, but there's so many cards in that set. Trying to get the, the Gretzky in that set is so hard. There was like 700 cards in the set or 600 cards in the set, I think. So that's absolutely bonkers. Brian, um, you, remember, you remember that Gretzky I do was I, I texted you about he was selling out that uh, Columbus show and I yeah. was like 600 bucks and you told me no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. This Pele rookie, so we talked a little bit about it last week. It sold for $340,000. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to have to grade mine. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. How about this? A Wayne Gretzky. This is uh, oh, wow. this is for each one of you guys to just give me shit all over again because this right here is the perfect example of my all time holy grail. It's the eighty. It's the seventy nine OPG Gretzky rookie. Yep. It's got the fraying on the sides that OPG had. It's in good condition. Got great color. This is my all time holy grail right here, gentlemen. Like I, I, there isn't uh, something like one hundred forty thousand. Absolutely well, unbelievable. And the problem with this is like same thing with almost like Jordan. I mean, his records should be breakable. Gretzky's records Never. are not breakable. Like yep. the Sedin brothers together still haven't broken Gretzky's yep. records. It never happened. Yep. Your buddy never TLC happened. Comics One wants to know if there's any update on the Miles Morales rookie card. Which I will get into uh, in a little bit here. I, I'm glad he reminded me. Uh, all right. So uh, SP Authentic Connor McDavid rookie in a pristine oh. 10 sold for $85,000. How about this one, guys? So the, grade, the, the Brady rookie on the right sold in January. It was a PSA 10. A PSA 9 just sold for $92,000. Jeez. Yeah. Those are even this numbered or anything? Yeah, yeah, they're out of. I forget. It's really. It's it's. They're not many. Okay. Um, it's not numbered on the card, but they know how many they produced. Is it like twenty five? Maybe it's like fifty. I think less than a hundred. I don't know. It's easy to look it up. We'll look yeah, it up here. Uh, okay, get into some of the uh, toy stuff. Be on the lookout for this in the tubs in the flea markets. This is the uh, Star Wars Republic clone gunship from the Clone Wars. This is what the troopers would fly in on. This was always a, a popular item for Star Wars fans. Um, loose, it sells for a lot of money. So Jesus. be on the lookout for this. Here's another one that blew me away. This is DC Universe Classics wow. Wave uh, 16, the Robin. And I don't understand why this thing sold for so much. $255 to this thing uh, is unbelievable, and it's not that old. It's got to be less than 10 years old. Is it? Is uh, it about maybe they didn't make many of them or it didn't sell well? Or If anybody in the chat knows, uh, let us know. Um, it will, uh, you know, it's very interesting. Um, here's another one. This is uh, no shit. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No. God damn it! I've been no. leaving those behind like an asshole for a long time. <laughs> so I knew this was gonna just blow people away because there's a lot of spawn collectors out there that have stuff <laughs> that they thought would be worth money that turned out it would it wasn't worth anything. Well, take a look. Your spawn Game stuff changed. is starting to become worth money. Yeah. <laughs> I, do not think I got some of these. I gotta go look for them now. Yeah. I just oh wait, no. This is the rare. This is the rare blue. 
I don't that know means. what that means. The, the yeah, I don't know what that means, means but uh, whatever it is, it's a I'll lot of money. I'll make sure to put that, that in my figure. listing. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is, that's that's, that's crazy. All right, uh, here you go, Sean. Uh, for those wow. uh, those people that grew up with sisters, that uh, when you were into He Man and they had to be in Dashira, here's your loose She Ra figures that are selling for Damn. ridiculous oh, amounts. Dude, Homie, I got a, I I got, got a She Ra figure right now. I love I love She Ra. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Hold on. Dun dun da da. Yeah. <laughs> so this is worth something? So you're telling yeah. me? Yeah. Sweet. Somebody gave it to me for pressing books once. Nice, dude. Got Not the dollar ni- dollar ninety price tag on there. Good old school. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> worth some money now, my friend. Worth some AFA, money. Yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> It's yeah, it's kind of beat, but it still looks cool. It actually looked cooler on camera than it does in my hand. So, <laughs> well, yeah, three hundred and ten dollars loose, so it's got to be worth something. Carded. Yeah. All right, uh, Star or uh, Transformers fans, uh, this is kind of cool. This is a G one Megatron uh, open, but in immaculate condition. Everything is there. Uh, almost a thousand dollars, which is crazy. This is a vintage prototype. Uh, Darth Vader rare figure case that sold for $8,300. Jeez. So, yeah. This is cool. This is a Movie Maniacs Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 18 inch figure sold for Jesus. five grand. No, no. What is Dude, up with that? Those were expensive gifts. Like you were, <laughs> you were tripping over them. No. Yeah. Look at that, bro. Five grand. That's crazy. And probably yeah. the people that like have them don't don't even know that they have they have no that potential clue. sitting on their uh-uh. chest because uh-uh. I don't know anybody that big enough of a fan like of anything that didn't have something like that laying around they wouldn't take five grand for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I got a couple more here. Uh, this these ones though I had. I, I want to... you to know we all really appreciate your education on toys. It's yes. like everyone's secret favorite uh, segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's an interesting one, right? Um, this is so on Modern Comic Mayhem. Recently, uh, they showed off a 1960s Superman um, uh, salesman's sample, and that's exactly what this is. This is a GI Joe 1982 press kit salesman sample that they would walk around and Ooh. show people. Ooh, and uh, cool. yeah. Ooh. Yes, yes. So the folder opens. It's got these pieces of paper in it that says, you know, what G.I. Joe is about. It was who was produced by Sunbow Cartoons, all that fun stuff. Talks about the cartoon, talks about everything and what channels it's already on and trying to get more channels. You know, they would go to a TV channel and and show this. And uh, look how cool this is, man. America's number one toy comes to television in the first ever syndicated animated miniseries. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, will star in a five in five cliffhanging half hours. Co-produced by Sunbow and Marvel Productions Limited, G.I. Joe will be distributed by Claster Television Productions for early fall programming. And it says I don't here know the- if it's $1,500 cool, but it's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, right? I, I even go, I'm getting chills like hearing you read that. Yeah, dude. Like, this is cool. Look at this. It, it talks about the Cobra Temple. It talks about the Cobra Satellite. Um, it's going on Carter Save Searches. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, it, sold, it sold for $1,500. Pretty damn cool. Um, all right. Here is another one. This is very interesting for all you WWE fans. Uh, I don't know why this sold for so much. Maybe uh, the chat can tell me. This is a elite Jeff Hardy seven inch wrestling figure, sold for twenty six hundred dollars. This is uh, his his run when he came back um, off of TNA back in a day, I believe. He came out and he was only there for a couple of months until they re teamed him up with uh, Jeff Hardy. So it's probably I'm going to say probably pretty rare that they. They came with that figurine, I bet you. So crazy, man. Like, but for twenty six hundred dollars, I don't you know. God damn. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely un- unbelievable. It's probably, it's probably, honestly, it was probably released with the first wave and never never uh never ran again. Yeah. Uh this is an interesting one. Back to cards real quick. Uh can somebody explain this shit to me? What is it? Oh my uh, god. Ball rookie patch? Somebody put up a Lamello Ball rookie patch one oh one auto. 
that's a drawing from a kid. I've seen these happen. Okay, so this is a big Reddit. Is this thing. laundering? What is this? Money yeah, laundering? Yeah, this is money laundering. So I've seen a bunch of them go out like Zion Williamson. And it's like some kid drew Zion Williamson. It says, it says item is pick is as pictured art yeah. card. Uh yeah. Lamella Ball Rookie <laughs> Patch one oh one on one condition is like yeah. new ship use. And it's like a little kid drew it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So this is a bunch of they always eighty nine bids. Yep, yep. So they always go off. It's uh it's like money laundering. It's probably one other person in him and this and basically, what happens is they build it up to a crazy, ridiculous amount. It's I've a seen throwaway books. account. Yeah, pretty much. I've seen Zion's go for like thirty thousand, just ridiculous numbers. You're like, what well, is? Yeah, this is money laundering. Okay, it's probably right. foreign countries. I'm gonna say. Finally, finally right. I found an artist that I'm as good as, though. Like, uh, I can here, literally do that. Yeah, here's a for GI Joe fans. This is uh, some uh, schooling right here. Uh, this is um, a pretty. Uh, easy figure to get you'll see this figure all the time but what you won't usually see and why this figure sold for 256 dollars is that microphone that's attached to his head mm. huh. so that's one of the rarest parts in all of gi joe figure collecting the uh, the mauler uh driver microphone uh heavy metals microphone and the mm. mauler tank driver um and as you can see uh it went for two hundred fifty-six dollars with the microphone. So even the microphone sells for that much. So I'm, I'm glad I'm not. I can't get into this, dude. I I couldn't remember all this shit. I couldn't, it, dude. This is way too much. Well, here's the last one, and this is uh, this is really cool. This is some history. Um, so for those of you guys that remember, the original uh, Boba Fett uh, came with a uh, spring-loaded launching missile on the back. And um, it started being hazardous to kids, obviously. So they. I thought they, that was fake. No, 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 it's 100% real. So they r put it out and th people got pissed. So they had to put a note in there originally. It says, Note to consumers Originally, our Star Wars Boba Fett action figure was designed to have a spring launched rocket. The launcher has been removed from the, pro from the product for safety reasons. If you're dis dissatisfied with the product, please return it to us and we will replace it with any Star Wars mini action figure of your choice. Thank you for your support. And it has the. That's so cool. It has wow. the actual. P thing so this sold it's afa graded in 80 or cas graded uh which is like you know a different a, uh, action figure grader um and it sold for f almost 500 dollars, 473 dollars. so pretty interesting yeah pretty that, damn cool stuff i thought the only ones with the actual rocket launching piece was like prototypes well it, it was but you remember that they they showed that in all the advertisements that they were going to release right. it that way. Oh, so okay. when they came out, they had to put that in there. There's gotcha. the rub that I didn't yes. understand. Yes. Um, and uh, the, so the um, miles card thing was interesting because I got a, uh, a message and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, see if I can find it here. I got a message. Here we go. So I don't know what this is, and, and uh, shout out to uh, uh, my Instagram hom homie who sent this. This is uh, a Miles Morales card that he sent to me, and he said this uh, found a Miles, a foil Miles rookie. Nice. And I don't know what this comes from, what product this comes from. So um, if anybody out there, uh, you know, in the chat can let us know, uh, because not only did that, he, uh, he was cool enough and he sent me this old school Kitty Pride card too. So this That's guy dope. is really, uh, really dialed in with some of these old school cards. So, um, hopefully, uh, he'll, uh, he'll share some more with us down the road. So if anybody knows what this, uh, miles rookie is, um, let's hear about it. So cool stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, you ready to talk about uh, Murder House 2? Oh, fucker. Okay, so uh, it was not like the Murder House. This guy is actually uh, a comic guy. I buy comics from him all the time. And um, he called me today and was like, oh, uh, I've got books for you to come and look at. Now, he's never had, like, serious books before. And um, that's all changed. So... <laughs> Uh, he says there's a lot more coming and we'll see how it all shakes out. He would not sell me the first appearance of Loki. He would not sell me the first appearance of Dr. Doom. Uh, he wants to get him graded. And uh, that's understandable. I mean, 
Yeah, I, I, I still want to buy them. Uh, oh. It was really the uh, the condition of these books that was just the most insane part. So, like, you know, there were, like, the smaller finds. Like, these are just perfect. They're uh, oh, nice. some of the nicest copies. Like, this one needs press, but it's just gorgeous. And um, it starts to escalate quickly, right? Like, uh, just to give you kind of, like, a, some indication of how nice these things are. Am I doing that well? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're just freaking insane. And, uh, you know, so it was like a lot of Spider-Man stuff. I was able to get uh, my second copy of X-Men 94 <laughs> in 72 wow. hours. We, we just saw wow. we just saw the, Yeah, we just we just saw the market report of 90 went for what? Three grand, Brian? That, was it? That's that's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, this one. Oh, Jesus. Um, Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Is it almost easier uh, to list out what keys you didn't pick up? He he had that one. Does it have the tattoos? Absolutely. That one. That one. Nice. Well, that's a really nice looking fortune. That one. And then what I was just like, get the fuck out of here. First appearance, Mad Jesus, Hatters. Dude. Wow. So you spent wait, at least 50 bucks. Wait a second. I saved, I, <laughs> believe it or not, I saved the best for last. Don't. I'm not no. going to take it out just so you can see. Well, the, we all know what happens. It's the back. Right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. No, no. The, the, the don't, don't worry. Don't worry, boys. I'm not an asshole. Oh, boy. No, let it, let oh. it be, dude. You get, I, just, I just bumped my own microphone. That was <laughs> Nah, you, I, I think you're. Yeah, I'll take your word for it, man. It's okay. It's really worth. It's really worth a look see on the oh podcast, boy. isn't it? I was waiting for the tape to catch right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't that guy. I ain't that guy. Let's just throw the bag across the room. There you go. Damn. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's super clean. Yeah. Not Nico, bad. Dude. Nico, nice hold man. up the front no, again. The, good, good, the bottom spine corner. <laughs> you guys are fucking killing me here. Wait, what? <laughs> what is he supposed yeah. to be doing? Yeah, no, no. Uh, Steve's got the fucking what's going to hurt me. The corner it, tick. Yep. Hold on. I'll show it's you. It's not yeah. falling off. I, 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 was, I was worried. Yeah. Hey, listen, 186 uh, live viewers, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you guys hit that bell uh, for more great flip side content. Yeah, and the real question is what you said, which is, what is that going to do to me? Is that coming yeah. through? I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, honestly, we- just pick pick up a just just go through a lot of like nine four to nine eights on um, eBay or wherever you see Good advice. And just, and see and just see how they see if they see just see if there's a trend. We all know that the odds yeah. of them even giving you a nine eight on a perfect one are actually not fucking to slim to none. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's just you know, are over. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but hey, yeah. I mean just just see what that's that's what I do with stuff with uh, stuff like that. Well, then again, stuff like that, like now, I used to be like it used to be a waste of money for me to grade not 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 that book, but like other books like nine sixes, but like first first like modern Marvel first appearances. Did I, I sold a I sold a Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur nine six today for like two seventy five or something, and I was like I was like whoever would pay that I was like I had to have like the and yeah and then I was like when yours ends up being the cheapest when you're not paying attention then it sells. Yeah, not being. bad. Uh, I mean, real fast, uh, I want to hit the Miles Morales uh, card. Uh, DS Comics said uh, check out an IG post that he's got, and I imagine this is the one he's talking about. Uh, where he talked about um, a 2012 card set contains the first Miles Morales card, as far as I can tell. The Miles DS Morales was on that shit so. early. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel like Beginnings the 3. Popped and he was like, Miles, boom. Smartest yeah. guy in comics, man. Yeah. So very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Uh, over under, you paid more than. What, okay, let's take everybody guessing, man. What are they paying? We'll just go over under. We're playing like Price is Right. Who who wants to go first? We we'll go ye first. What do you what do you think he what do you think he paid for all that? Let's. I love this game. Three K. Do you know how much the fucking Batman's worth? Well, yeah. What? I have okay. no idea. Carter, come on, Carter. You, you're like best boys with him, and you know <laughs> you, you know El Chico over there. 
I, I'm per, I'm thinking he paid two. Okay, I'm I'm going twenty two fifty. I'm going in between you boys. Four. Forty two. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna say I don't, I don't know Steve, I don't know the I don't need the I don't know the dealers. That's what makes it a little harder. I'm saying I'll I'll say did anyone say twenty five hundred? No. That's good. That's good. Right. Mm -hmm. right. McClay? Four. Hey Carter, Over. how you doing, big dog? Oh. You see? You see? You see? <laughs> wow. hey, I know listen, you can correlate how much you paid with the uh how big the smile is. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be, yeah. I'd be I'd be happy at like seventy five percent of market on those on those raws. Yeah, dude, they were great. To be honest, the, right now, the you know what part. I mean. He's going to get more. Wow! And I left a ton of shit behind. And dude, for uh, that price, I'll fly board. out there. Yeah, me too. Right? It'll be a free right? flight. It'll be a free flight. He's <laughs> my friend. You know, uh, that's good. He's, you got uh, a good, you got, you got, you got a good friend, man. Yeah, we, that's cool, dude. We yeah, we make a lot of cash together. Go. And, Very good and for the record, some of those books are in worse shape than uh, you think they are. Like, there's uh, one of the X-Men's got a piece out of the back. You know, but I counted the big boy book, counted their pages. So, yeah. yeah. No complaining right. for me. All right, guys. Uh, you want you guys want we got a lot of people, so I imagine pickups is going to take a, a big chunk of the show. Uh, but before we do, um, I want to let's do this. Let me find it. Um, son of a gun! I am terrible about uh, this stuff. All right, I want to give a quick shout out because we do have a, a book to give away tonight. Um, shout out to the Hive Comics guys uh, who have uh, this gorgeous um, Ice Cream Man 24, I believe, coming out. Uh, absolutely amazing homage. And uh, they were nice enough to come on the show last week. And uh, they, uh, they said, hey, they'll give, they'll give a, a book away to a lucky winner. So we asked everybody to make a comment um last week in the post so we're gonna go ahead and do that um oh man those are great covers oh yeah this cover listen shout out to the hive guys for doing that they literally dropped it that day this is the first show that uh you know that that book was talked about so we appreciate them uh letting us you know drop uh that that new uh cover fire because that's absolutely gorgeous all right awesome. here we go comment picker this is the one of the greatest uh things for youtube shows for those of you guys that aren't using it make sure you go use it and i give them shouts out because of how all the ease that they uh, give me here is our winner look at how quick that was no wheel no nothing made to last how can how can liquidity be faked that's scary if that can be faked well uh, hopefully made to last is following um, hive comics and uh, made that post uh, to win those books. If you did hit us up at tales from the Flipside channel at gmail.com and uh, let us know the book you won and uh, your contact information and we'll get that to you. So definitely shout out to hive comics. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Absolutely amazing. Like, that I was all about the uh, the sketch at first, and then I saw the color, and I was like, I like the color better now. But the sketch is gorgeous. It's probably one of the best homages I've seen. And I'm not an homage guy. I can't stand homages. Uh, they're, they're, they seem cheap to me now. They seem easy. So, all right. Cool stuff. Shout out to Made to Last. All right. You guys uh, ready to get into some pickups? Sure. All right, who wants to go first? Yee, you want to go first? Yeah, I mean, I know Nika's going to be tough to, to follow, but... All right. Uh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's all right. So, as you may or may not know, I've been chasing after all these Marvel Legacy second prints. This is... Uh, so, shout out to Ultra and the Spec Matrix on this drunken chat. So, this is the Captain America one. Uh, I just went kind of nuts on eBay. Here's the Falcon. Uh, I picked up Iceman. Iron Fist. Dude, a lot of these are tough. Yeah, the Peter Parker uh, Spectacular Spider-Man issue. Uh, here's the best one. Theta's 13. Uh, I picked up this X-Men. 
And then, um, so I'm trying to complete a Daniel Way run of Deadpool. I found this one in 25 life builds for I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, I also picked up the McGinnis issue two. Uh, here's the last raw book I have. So X Women number one. So nice. shout out, shout out to the uh, Spec Ten crew. And here's my slab. So I picked up a nine six signed by Chris and Ritter oh, for nice. less than three hundred dollars. Get the oh, fuck out of here! Hold on, <laughs> Not bad. dude. I've been I've been waiting for that book for such a long time, and it's always you know multi sig, and I just wanted one just just you know Chris and Ritter. I have a huge crush on her, so but whatever cool. makes sense. Well, hey, let's uh, let's get Chris and Ritter on the show, ladies and gentlemen. I, I know, so right? My my Netflix, my uh, you know, you can choose your your avatar, and they got all the Marvel stuff, and you can choose from the stuff right now. Mine's always been like a polar bear, whatever, and then so so my. I chose uh, for my for my uh, wife's account or whatever. I I chose the Kristen Retta, the you know the the Jessica Jones that they have on there. She's all, oh, that's so awesome! You made me Wonder Woman, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I'm like whatever. She knows that um, I kind of think Gal Gadot is like the hottest woman in the world, so I'm just gonna let her go with. I chose the hottest woman in the world to be my wife's avatar, and she's sitting out there and not listening to this right now. So <laughs> she's she's gonna think that forever. Nice, Sean. You want to? You got any? You got any pickups? Yeah, um, right. I do. Kind of. Uh, I actually, I got, I got slabs, so uh, I'm happy about that. This. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't think there's been any modern uh, Plug variants. And so, as a Werewolf by Night fan, I just was sort of waiting. With this uh, is either yeah. the, they call it the the hidden variant or whatever. I don't. I think. I don't think it was. I think it was one for store, but I had to order a hundred or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, and then finally, just somebody accepted one of my offers on, on the 9.8. So this is going to go up with the, uh, my new werewolf mask and such. And uh, so total, yeah, total PC buy. Um, just great having 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 a plug cover come out these days. Sort of went under the radar. It seemed a little bit. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not cheap. But uh, people grab it. So I was pretty was pretty happy um, that somebody accepted a good offer. And as we were talking, um, New Mutants uh, 98. People might have saw that. Uh, eBay so somebody had uh, three three uh, three cable books up and in, in our, not in the 98 97 87 I'm sorry so uh, uh, they had all three of these together in a lot that I bought so I got uh, came with the cable Deadpool one it was sort of you know like their throw-in book or whatever but still a great book and I, I think it's probably only like a hundred dollar 98 but definitely at the uh, last Deadpool movie release it was definitely closer to 200 I think at the time but either way it's still you know I mean it's like, you know, Blyfield even kind of tried, you know, they were like, no feet, bro. And, you know, <laughs> he was successful. Um, and then so you would got talking about the the 87. So it also it, all, it also came with the uh, the second print, which uh, I assume like everything else is somehow going to sort of get its due. Um, I think the nine eights have gone up a little bit, but they're still more, more like maybe 100, 140 instead of like the consistent 85 or whatever it used to be. Um, so anyway, uh, grab, grab that, that with it. And, uh, before I lost another piece of childhood nostalgia that I got priced out on, it also it came with the, uh, you know, the first print, uh, the, the people try to say variant or whatever between orange and red, but I think it's just to color it a, more of a coloring thing. It's definitely not noted on label, but clearly if there's an orange one, this is it. And so it always seemed orange to me. Um, I think the redder ones are probably a little bit harder to find. Uh, but there's that. And then, um, super happy. I want a I want a PC auction that I know for a fact, uh, there's, there's only, there's only two nine eights on the census. I actually have one at CGC right now. And I, I know who has the other nine, nine, eight of this, but, um, uh, so, and it would, it's not for sale. He's also a master's of the universe collector. So, um, so, uh, master's of the universe volume three, um, variant, the, uh, they list is a bearish on there, but it's like the heman.org. So there's only two nine eights, they only printed 500 wow. of these. It was like 20 years ago, so it's yeah, 2004. So yeah, there's uh, th this thing, yeah, this thing is impossible, it's just impossible to find. They came with th this book, didn't, but I don't, I don't care because I've got about three copies that all have COAs, so I could pretend when came to this one, I guess. But uh, but they have the COAs with uh, that are numbered to the 500 on these, and so um. Yeah, and it came up for auction, and and it had been up for sale for like a lot more money. A lot of times, you know, it was still expensive. It was still, uh, I don't know, close to around eleven hundred. 
and uh but uh but now but now i have it um i've, I've got the the you know the heman.org uh variant run probably a couple times over now so i guess i just gotta gotta start doing the 9.8 I, su- I suppose so anyway just as a book that i wanted for a long time it'll it'll find a space on the wall up here one of these days and uh anyway so yeah those are those are those are my pickups those are, those are my pickups. Strong book, like. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. Very dope. All right, Carter, you got anything? Yes, I do. All right, what are we starting off with? Okay, I'll tell you what. I did a haul video this morning. You guys go check it out. But I have yet to show this. Look at this. Look That's at this. That's badass. Look at this. So I saw this. They Is that pre-order- Super 7? Yeah. Hell no. Fuck! Did you get that, man? I, I have no clue. They pre-ordered this like maybe I pre-ordered this like two months ago, and it kind of it just Tremendous. showed up. That's and I'm awesome. like, hell yeah! So every time I see this, I the those first few notes of Brooklyn Zoo, like uh, pop up in my head. So I love this thing. Uh, I think I paid like twenty, like maybe twenty-seven or something like that. Love this book. Love this book. And and speaking of Masters of the Universe. Uh, this is a book that I had shown uh, a little while ago. Some Campbell. And, okay, I bought two copies uh, probably last weekend, and I went back and picked up the third. So this was five bucks. Yeah, it's a J. Scott Campbell, Masters of the Universe number one. I'm surprised this book. Now, it sells briskly. You know yeah, what I mean? Because of the Invincible, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it has the Invincible preview, but... I don't know. Do do people know this is a J. Scott Campbell cover or no? Um, I, the psychos. I, like, I, I, think, do, I mean, I think people, people don't. do. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just you know what? It's it's like it's like it kind of falls in those like the GI Joe, uh, Danger Girl like era category mm. where he did so many different things, mm. and then like people just don't sort of rediscover some of the stuff. You know? Uh huh. Yeah, this cover, oh. dude. I love this cover. I yeah, had to buy. Too. I had to buy another one. You know. <laughs> Okay, next up. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like this. Okay, so we were talking, well, you guys were talking about those um, second print legacies. Yep. We have those. All new Wolverine number 25. Yep. I, I didn't even know I didn't even know this one even existed. So so we found this for cover price. Nice. And what else? So I found also ooh, a set of truth. Ooh. So that Friday morning, like right before work, I stopped at a store and picked up the set one through seven. For, I think uh, a set bucks. sold for like three hundred fucking dollars or something goofy. Didn't it, it did. It yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe that uh, shit? Hey, can we talk about that for a second? Because I we got like such a good panel. So yeah. clearly, he's it's an unresolved plot point, right? I mean, there was all that tension there. It was a great scene, and then you don't get any resolution. They just leave. He's fucking hit, like pissed off. No, he's gonna get his. He's gonna get. He's gonna get his moment. But does it come in this show and end, or was it so powerful, uh, so well received that they then roll something else out? Or I, I mean, that's what I can't decide on because I got a, a stack of those books, and I'm like, I can fucking cash in. But something is telling me like. You ought to keep those books, big boy. Cash cash in a couple. Cash in a couple of sets. Hey, Steve. (laughs) Hey, uh, I got to thank Ben S. for the shout out. So we found this uh, dollar bin digging the other day. And if anybody doesn't know why. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, when I saw the, the tweet of this, okay. That eye, I thought that was just kind of superimposed on the image. Uh, you know what I mean? To make it look uh-huh. creepy. Right. But comes to find out, it's actually in the fucking book. And that scares me. <laughs> that whole thing that scares the shit <laughs> yeah. out of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's so, like a Department of Truth Archie m- mashup. Right? I'm not, fe- man, I don't want that- this in my, I don't want this in my house. This thing scares me. <laughs> Does the Murdoch family own Archie? And what else? What else do we have? Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's do a little bit of let's, let's show let's show Sandman some love. I found this for twenty bucks. Uh, I'm out of the Sandman game. I cashed in like a long time ago, or I cashed out a long time ago. 
but uh, I know a good deal when I see one. So we found this those for are, 20 bucks. And those are a lot of those Sandman books are starting to rise in value now. Yeah, I bought yeah. a cover uh, on a couple of them back uh, about two or three months ago before Sandman popped off again. Yeah, I saw this for 20. I'm like, uh, I didn't want to, <laughs> but I had to. I got right? a uh, I got a set that I've been sitting on for probably two years out uh-huh. of laziness. And I say I've been sitting on it to wait for it to get hot. And I thought that I was uh, screwed on that. But thank God that those are starting to rise again. Hopefully Walking Dead will do the same. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I'll tell I'll show off this. I'll show this stupid thing off. Okay. So this la- got one. Last but not least. Okay. So this was the week that it came out. And I didn't realize it. I had my head up my ass. You know what I mean? Because I just I just didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know any of it was out. I didn't know about bad idea. Just didn't know. Okay. So uh and when I saw prices just go up and up and up and up and up, I tried to block it out. I tried to ignore it. I'm just like, you know what? I am a self-actualized man and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it for the other people. And the the hype, it caught up with me. And I'm just like, oh, crap. Now I want one. And there was a store. Like, this was on a, this was the Thursday. So the day after, they were selling copies for cover price. And this this was, like, sporadic. This was, like, maybe every, like, every hour, half hour, 45 minutes. And I was always late. I was always, like, off by, like, 15 seconds or some dumb shit like that. And so I made it a point to uh, uh, bookmark the site and just keep it and refresh until one finally popped up. I got the last one. I got the last dodo. So I'll play. So I'll play the game straight out of Nico's pull box. Absolutely, it, it happens. <laughs> no, uh, legitimately, uh, Josh Allen uh, scooped me a copy from Australia. Uh, yeah, you're friends, with, it, the, it, you're yeah, friends yeah. with a Buffalo quarterback, and he lives in Australia in the offseason. Basically, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's like the uh, he's he's John Z's uh, contemporary on the global comics game, okay. and uh, I'm waiting for it. He said he was going to mail it to me, and uh, he snagged me another book that's awesome too. He's just a super nice guy. Um, really, really, really happy that he was kind enough to do that. Cool. Did, Disney. did you did you touch the Enyaq? Like, because I know Dinesh no. went over and over about the paper quality. So you haven't like didn't touch it at all. all right. like, Get your hands I, on it. When I uh, when I do decide to take it out, I'm gonna wear gloves like a like a priss. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Pr- I'm gonna be real prissy when it comes That's to that book. <laughs> Are you gonna hit that ten on it then? Yeah. You never know. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go. I'll go next. I'll go next. Walk we can do a random. Maybe get that ten. So, um, I didn't really get anything. So people are like, "Yeah, Nino," but I got the haul video. If you haven't seen the haul video, look at the CGC haul video. Uh, big up to Lake for pressing all those books for me, and we 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 knocked out some good stuff with that. Um, so our boy Dennis from Wonder World sent me a, a package, and it's like a, a bunch of comics. And you're like, Dino, what what did you do? Would you buy? I actually didn't do much. He actually sent this out for the boys, and I'm gonna give away. I'll give away one right now. It's the uh, he said, give them away to the boys or do whatever. Taskmaster 3, second printing. Uh, all the, all the I guess, sales or profits are, are going to uh, charity, but it's uh, the first uh, South Korean mighty, uh, right, right, mightiest uh, Taskmaster. So uh, it's a Wonder World thing. So it's a Wonder World variant, store variant. But he sent me a, a stack of these so we can do a – how about this? I'll throw a, I'll throw one of these in, and I'll throw away a hat, and then we'll throw. Well, that's what we'll do for the uh, the YouTube comment. So yeah, so uh, let's uh, figure out a way to do this. So um, tell us, anybody got any good ideas for what what they should comment on? Um, I don't know. Well, think of something, and then uh, and then did, we'll. Did you we'll want to you want to roll you want to roll the old comment generator thing you had going though? You want to do that again, or do you what? care? Well, there's the com- no comments, so, so maybe, we'll, maybe the comment could be uh, how ha- how um, how Dino should accessorize the red jacket. No, what else? 
you know? <laughs> Maybe, sense. you know, whoever, the, this nice, nice, uh, mid, uh, not, um, uh, Eastern European, I guess, uh, Taylor did all the hats for me. Maybe she could do like a Ric Flair ensemble on the back, like Ric Flair embroidered, like, you know, like all the road <laughs> back in the day. I yeah. I need to give Dennis a hundred dollar book. He was kind enough to give me an amazing book. And uh, it's like the most difficult task ever because he's someone who has all of the books. And I yeah. don't know like what to send him that he would think was cool because every time I come up with an idea, I'm like, no, he's going to think that's stupid. He's got a hundred of them. So can we maybe make uh, that the uh, yes. comment? Yes. Yeah. What book What book to give a guy who has everything that's a hundred dollars or less? And it, you know, cause yeah. That's... What's the hundred dollar or less book to give to somebody that has everything? And don't and also, fucking say uh, dark Hawk number one for the love it. of Christ. Yeah. Damn it. Dark, yeah. dark Hawk 50. Two copies. <laughs> Dark Hawk number one. <laughs> Sleep, sleepwalker number one. Send it. And make sure you're following. We're, we're so here's the deal. Quick. Yeah, yeah, so here's the deal. Leave a comment after the show is done yes. being live on, on, on the YouTube video page. Yes. Um, leave your comment there, but also make sure you are uh, subscribed to Dennis's um, YouTube page, which is, uh, I think it's uh, hanging with D Dennis. Uh, let us know your, your YouTube page and we'll make sure that they subscribe to your YouTube page. What, too. I think it's what's up with D what's up what's, in the D. What's yeah, up with yeah, the D. Like that. So, yeah. So good stuff. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'll give the stuff to the boys and everybody on, uh, um, at least with us group is, uh, y'all get a hat and we'll, we'll give you a comic and all this stuff. So. Not bad. Not you can bad. say that the CEO is doing his uh, Scrooge thing. He's like Nino Brown. He's out out turkeys. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> not bad. What's moving with D? So That's that what, is yes. the uh, channel, you guys. What's moving with E? Make sure you guys go subscribe to it. And, uh, of course, leave your comment after the video. And we will uh, pick a winner next Monday night. All right. Who's next? Uh, Steve, you got anything? I got a couple things. Um, All right. Not a ton, but um, Dollar Pickup. Ooh, that's a great book. People, people, yeah. yeah, people love those books. I got a bunch of those. There we go. Uh, second print, Matina. Okay. Maybe we'll see some love with the movie. I've been buying the Iron Man and Ironheart cover for the generations. This was uh, another Dollar Pickup. This is uh, First Sin. Agent Sin. Hmm. Gotta, lo gotta love this. Um, Archerm, early Archerm. Well, early DC Archerm, before he started doing a lot of covers. So, hmm. yeah, pretty cool. I didn't realize it was Archerm. Wait, that, that's an Archerm cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep, there, there's, hold on now. Wait a minute. It's hard to see on this camera, but yeah, there is the his signature there. It's there. Yeah, cool. I'm, yeah, feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that. Okay, I think I know yeah, how close that has. It, it gets some love on the bay. All right. Um, I, I went beyond my. I know Carter and oh, I. Boy. We we we're the El Cheapo Club, but Carter, I don't I don't know if you'll kick me out, but I spent ten dollars on this one. Hey, hey, I spent ten dollars on one. Okay. So it's all now, good. It's all now, good. Now I feel better. Okay, good. Okay. Um got got two of these oh. like for, for nothing. Like just a bag of I think it was NYCC stuff, like buttons, lanyards, eh, and two Naomi's. So nice. these are the these um I'll, I'll, these are the convention editions. Oh, so okay. there's no price on them or anything like that. They're going wow. for premium. Um, you guys know I love the promo comics. So I got three copies of Triple A Baseball Heroes. Does it get any better than that? That's awesome. You know yeah. what? A team up yeah. of Dr. Doom and Magneto, that's hot. I'm feeling that. Versus I'm feeling all the that mascots. Too. All the Triple A mascots, too. Mm -hmm. There's a... There's, I think they made a version for like every triple A team too. This is wow. like, yeah, these are really hard to find. And usually I think there's a couple listed for like a hundred, 200, $300. Wow. So got th three, three copies of that. 
And then um, I, I picked up this slab. It's nice and cheap. It's smart. I love it when they don't list CGC in the title. You know. I mean, I still, I still wound up paying a little over a hundred for it, but you know that was Shoot. way under market. Oh, it's wow. a beauty. Over that. You got to steal. Yeah. yeah. And that's all I got for t for tonight. Good stuff, buddy. Yeah, Thanks. great stuff. Not bad. Uh, do I dare ask Nico? You have any more? I got boxes, but let's just like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have um, one more thing to show off real quick. So if you stop by LCSs, they have these invincible sewing kits, and then uh, there's a phone number on there that you can call. That's a contest, and then they also have like these button sets. So these are just free at LCSs that are participating in that. So that's dope. That's I was at a really store cool. today. I saw that and just like. I spaced out. I just like I didn't even well, pay attention to it. I know how to sew, so it's always a good to have a spare kit. <laughs> Eagle Scout. Yep. Hey, so it's invincible. It, yeah. and, in, and in five years, that's going to be worth like seven grand, and we're going to see it on a market report. Just going to laugh. <laughs> and then I'll be like, be oh, slab it that, in, in like a little slab. Yeah. Oh, I'll be like, oh, that was my sew. AFA Invincible Sewing Kit. All right. <laughs> Well, before we leave, I want to, um, I want to, we dropped a, a new uh, little thing on our IG. Make sure you guys are following our IG at Tales from the Flipside Instagram, uh, on Instagram. Um, make sure you guys, uh, uh, give, give George some love. Give Nico some love. Give Nico some love. Appreciate that. I need, I need it. I, I feel unloved. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, he's, he's killing it over there. He's, you know, he's dropping these amazing, uh, uh videos all the time. So we decided to, uh, uh, hopefully throw up, um, some little, um, uh, hip hop cover love, uh, to, um, get you guys, uh, to, uh, you know, check out the channel a little bit more and, uh, we'll give you a taste before we bail out. So I want to say thank you everybody, uh, for joining us and, uh, uh, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button and uh, make sure you guys follow all these guys that are on the show. They do great stuff. Um, they have their own stuff going. That is just absolutely bonkers. Make sure you hit, go follow my bargain comics. Make sure you follow Mercenaut on YouTube. Uh, make sure you follow uh, comic book food chain um, and, and make sure uh, you guys like and subscribe this channel and uh, we'll see you a bit.